you guys, I have an awesome, awesome Halloween project to do with you. Um, it's super fun. It's really quick and it's really easy. This is also a really good project to do with kids. My kids um, have helped me with this and doing their own and it's really, really fun. And it also doesn't take very many supplies, so that makes it really fun too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from a book to a book, right? A spell book or a magic book or an evil book. Okay, so if you're ready to dive in, all you need is a book from a thrift store. I get mine at Goodwill for 50 cents or a dollar if they're hardcover. Um, you need some Mod Podge, you need some acrylic paint, and you need some fun. Go to the dollar store and grab some like spiders or snakes, and you need a glue gun. And if you want, you can use some like tacks. And that's it, that's it. So, um, oh, and if you have any like metallic shiny paint, like in copper or silver or gold or anything like that, that or bronze, that has like a shine to it, grab that too and let's go. All right, if you're ready to do the project, go ahead and skip ahead to um, the minute that's on in the corner of your screen. Okay, and those of you who are about to jump off this video because you're like, I'm not gonna deface a book, we need to have a little chat. Okay, so come with me. Okay, we need to have a little one-on-one -on -one about this. Do you see this book that I'm gonna alter? I'm gonna transform it into a forever living Halloween decoration. So I know so many of you <laughs> struggle with this. So many of you, when I do altered book projects, confess to me the difficulty they have in altering books, right? You're like defacing them and, and like you're hurting their little book feelings. And I just want to tell you, that I'm here to tell you that it's, it's okay. It's okay to alter a book. Do you know why? Because this book, this book has lived a long life. People have read its pages. The author has been compensated for its use, and now it is fulfilling its new destiny to be a Halloween decoration. So its feelings are not hurt, its pages will be forever encapsulated in the protective layer that is Mod Podge amazingness, and it will appreciate you giving it a new life, a new life where it can live on as something new and exciting. So please, it's okay. It's okay to repurpose books. You're giving them a new, exciting life and they cannot wait for you to do that. Their feelings will not be hurt. No books are hurt in the making of these videos. <laughs> All right, so let's go. This is a lot of fun, so let's go. All right, you guys, these books are so fun and easy. You're really only limited to your imagination. Now, you can do all of the designs if you want using a glue gun, and that will end up looking something like this. All of this stuff was just written on here and drawn on me, drawn on me, drawn on by me with a glue gun. So that's super awesome. So if you don't wanna go and buy anything, just and you just wanna use your glue gun, you can actually, this is actually, I think, one of my favorite books anyways. All right, if you wanna add more three-dimensional things to it, you can do something like this. I've had these for years, so they're like a little bit warm, but this is just like a dollar store snake. I mean, stop it, it's awesome. You just glue them on here and then it'll paint over it. Looks so good. And it's also what the Mod Podge does is it makes it like, gives it like a worn leather um, texture, which you can see some of the light is picking up on that. So it like feels leathery. It's like very authentic. I love, love this project. And then you can even do like super big things. Again, this is, we've had these for years. They've been knocked around. So like the paints come off of this one, but this is written in the glue gun. That's a dollar store snake. And then that is um, a skull that I, I don't know what, I think I cut it, you know what I did? I cut it with my, um, I have a heat, a hot knife. You guys have a hot knife? They're kind of incredible. It's like, uh, it's like a glue gun. It's like an X-Acto knife, but you can plug it in and it gets really hot and you can like slice through anything. And then I glued it onto the book. So you kind of have like a lot of possibilities. And then another thing I like to do, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, is like I put a hammer tacks in. So you can make like cool designs. It just makes it look old as if that's like the binding. Oh, 
know where I came up with that, but that's fun. That's a fun little touch. You can see that in the corners. This one I like the best. Again, this is like one of my faves. Um, you have like these tacks. Those are just tacks. So yeah, let's get started. So actually those tacks are gonna be the first thing that I do because, all right, and here's my bucket of fun. So this, I don't even know what this is doing in here. These are, I have like this, ooh, that'd be cool, like a big key. This is just junk that I've collected. Halloween size, so like a key would be really cool to put on there. Here's some of those snakes, or what about that? You could do like a whole skeleton guy. I got this garland at the dollar store last year, I think. Oh my God, you can have that like on the spine even. So fun. <laughs> Random hands. And there's like spiders. So any of these, this spider is actually this spider right here. So that's what it looks like, all like painted. You gonna join me? Oh, my little friend just came in the room. He's very sick. And I'm trying to get him to do this with me. Oh, look at that guy. That guy looks so real. And so look at this. Should put that in dad's side of the bed. He would like literally have a heart attack and die. Um, so yeah, so you can have, just use your imagination. Oh, I got these little spiders. You could pop those on. Let, anything you can use a glue gun to glue because that these little plastic pieces adhere really well to uh, like these these cardboard book covers so this one's even signed um so yeah so i'm going to start with the tacks all right so i'm going to start out with these tacks because i like that look that they give oh this is and they're very hard so i'm actually going to see if i can hammer this in i think those other books weren't as new as this one let me see i don't remember how i got these tacks in yeah, going. Oof. Oof. Hi, Sicky. Hi, Sicky monster. <laughs> and my youngest next to me. Can you say hi? Hello. Hello, says Max. All right. Where else here? You want to be my helper? Where else? Oh, I didn't even center it very well. What do you like? Which one do you like? I kind of like how it goes down the spine like this. Should I do that? Or just one at the corners? Um... What do you think? Should I put one here? I guess. Okay. Ugh. So if you get it started, you can hammer it. All right, why don't you, Max, why don't you pick out some things that I should put on here? We can write stuff with a glue gun, like on here, or we can put on a snake or a skeleton. Oh, this one looks terrible. This is not even even. But I'm gonna move this so at least that's like, level with that other one. Oof. Ugh. I'm gonna do like four down the side here. Ugh. Too close, you're gonna get smooched. Mom. Uh -huh. Sorry, not sorry. Uh. Where's that that little tiny snake would be good on the, be good on the spine. You want me to do some spiders? Two spiders? What two spoopy spiders. Two spoopy spiders. What should the name of this book be? Uh, <gasps> Maybe like Venoms and Toxins or a something? Book. A book. That's lame. <laughs> what do you think? Venoms and Toxins Shrug. for your magic? No, I don't. It's gotta I have like a good one. scary title. Google, I mean. <laughs> Google. Google schmoogle. Come up with our own title. Ah! Don't you mean you come up with your own title? Yeah. <laughs> your head's in my light ring. Oof, I got two sick kids today. Ow! Two out of three are sick. That's not good. As long as we get our sickness over by Halloween, right buddy? Going anyways, sick or no sick. Put you in a shopping cart, wheel you down the street. <laughs> oh my god, how fun would that be? That I know. Alright, I'm gonna two 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 up in here. <coughs> oh, this one's hard. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Is this oh no that is. It's like I think I can rip 
cover off. This is a weird book. Okay. Bye, buddy. Feel better. This is a pretty quick project, so I'll be done soon. All right, we do two up there. And I'll do two down here. Oh. Oof. And then we're ready for the next step already. Oh. All right. And Max wanted me to put some spiders on there. Okay, it's okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to lather the whole thing with matte Mod Podge. And since I use matte Mod Podge anyways, excessively in all of my mixed media projects, literally all of them, <laughs> I have it ready. All right, now in order to create the texture of the kind of like leathery old, I'm going to use a brush and not a like a foam brush this also helps like adhere the tacks in sometimes the tacks don't hammer in as well so you're gonna mod podge the whole entire book like front oh there's a this is a really cheap brush your Mod Podge is cool because it's, um, you can just clean it with water, but you want to do like the whole thing. It gets kind of tricky when you, when you're working like at all sides. So, but also it's awesome because it dries so fast. I'm being really messy as always. All of it, front and back. I might just not do the bottom just so I can stand it up. But then I have my hair dryer plugged in. So when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna take my hair dryer and dry it and it takes like two minutes and that's it and you're done. So then when I, and I'm not gonna show myself drying it in real time cause that is B-O-R-I-N-G, so. I will shut the camera off while I dry it and come back after it's all dry. And you can also like, you can Mod Podge the back cover so it doesn't open and flap around. But usually these are just sitting like on my mantle. I put them up on my mantle. It's kind of spooky and fun. So they're not really opening anyways, but just in case these are more going to be handled by other people. It's kind of cool if it's like a, like a block, like a rock solid block decoration. Okay, so I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to actually, after I dry it, I'll go ahead. I'm going to put Mod Podge on the bottom too. That's all done. Get my fingerprints out of there. And then I'm going to dry this. Okay, so I just blew this dry and it, it literally takes like two minutes. That's it. Oh, this is already like stapled in, good. So again, if I want this to adhere so it doesn't open, slap some glue in here. Oh no, I wonder if these are gonna, oh no, good. These are like settled into holes in the pages. bottom and it's good if glue gets all around here because it'll just make sure they stay part of it um, and then I'm gonna grab some paint all right so now you have two choices you can either glue and then paint or paint and then glue it actually doesn't matter which is nice it's nice when things don't matter so you can start planning out your I do love the snake up the side, I'm not gonna lie. But then I also like it when there's like, the title is kind of like this is Spells Volume Two. Actually, I kind of like that better, I think. I can go both ways. There's no wrong answers. It's the nice part. All right, Max wanted me to put, maybe I'll have a snake and a spider and call it like, um, yeah, like toxic. Venom, venom for potions or something like that. 
do like this and like this. And then, oh, I guess I need to paint first actually because I need to get the paint under that spider. So I'm gonna paint first. Now I have black and gold. I have a lot of brown ones. So this one I'm gonna do black and silver actually. I know, lovely that I use a palette, right? I just plop it right, <laughs> right on. And this is actually my Mod Podge um, brush. <laughs> just joining all the forces here today. So I don't have any like super black. Maybe this will be a newer, this will be a newer volume. I do the pages a little differently. I'm gonna make the pages gold. You know, like a old book would really have kind of gold pages. It wouldn't be black, so I'm not painting that. Yeah, this will be a new volume. I like the Liquitex Basics. They're great, like, all-purpose paint. And their black is actually really opaque, which is important. You could also use black gesso. This, that would work really well for this project, too, because it's so matte. So I'm painting the back here. And my hands and fingers are sticking to everything. <laughs> I'm also heating up my glue gun next to me. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, if you want to make this like a more of a worn look, all you would do is like pick another color, like a secondary color. You could even pick the silver or another brown and work it into, work it into the book. But I have so many that kind of look like that already. I'm just changing things up a little bit. Add a little bit more black to the back and you can do more than one coat if one coat is not cutting it always go back for more i tend to rest mine either vertically or all laying all the way down so all right i'm going to take my hair dryer and dry this again all right so i went ahead and dried this it's mostly dry i mostly dried the back so i can lay it down um, so I have a bunch of spiders and snakes. Now the snake, the rubber ones do not adhere well with the glue gun. So if you have one that's more plastic than rubber, like this is a rubber one, this, the glue does not work well, the plastic does. So I would definitely grab a plastic one and Max wanted me to use the spider. So I'm gonna use both because this is a very evil book. I don't think I have any with spiders down here. So I'm just gonna kind of see where my spider touches down, which looks like, I think it was his body. I don't think his body does touch down. It's just his little feet. So I'm gonna add some glue to just the parts that are making contact with the book. I don't think his body does at all. Is that some? Maybe it's his head. I don't know. But that should be enough. We're gonna mod podge this again, so he'll get stuck on there. And then we do our sneak, quick, 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 because that glue dries so fast. Ah, I glued my finger, burning. Okay, and then we put our snake eye right down. And we gotta make sure, like his little tails kicking up back here, so I'm gonna put an extra dollop on his tail and then hold it down, make sure it sticks. Extra here. These make great props for, you know, Halloween parties or spooky plays. And they're so easy and they're so cheap to make. You can make this whole thing probably only cost like two bucks at the most. All right, so now I have to see, are we gonna put any on this side? We could do another snake along the side if we wanted to. That'd be pretty neat if there was one on there too. Let's do it. Ah, or you could do writing like I was talking about before. It's really sky's the limit. And I think that's why I made so many because I was like, ooh, we could do this. Ooh, ow, ow, burning, 
burning, burning on my thumb. Jeez. Okay, maybe this one will be going down because I gotta get rid of it fast because he's burning my finger. Oh, we almost went off, <laughs> off the page there. <laughs> he should really be over more, but it was, <laughs> this is too close to the side, but that's all right. <laughs> Whatever. Ow, my poor thumb. All right, now while I'm here, it's fun to doodle these designs. Like, say there's the book, you know, like the end of the book binding. And you know what's cool too for doing this project is that like you do not have to be neat because it just adds to like the fun of it. Maybe there's one down here. And drawing with a glue gun is fun, actually. Oh, there's like, oh, sorry, can't see. I just put a strip along the top, and maybe there's, I'm running out of glue. Okay, that looks cool. And then, of course, glue guns dry, like, really fast, so, and because it's not on the back at all, just let that piece dry for a second. You can just put it down and get to work on the front, and let's see, well, why don't we put this, call this, like toxin spells 101 and i just make up like spooky writing i mean i'm i'm trying to look at the other ones i did let's see like this one i just made it up and see it's funny like this looks all uh, like ancient and old and that's just actually which is beneficial because you have to push down to kind of end the glue stick and it ends up looking kind of neat so that's a bonus um let's see we'll call it um, maybe Evil Toxin Spells Volume 1 or something like that. So, just kind of do your best. Toxin. Toxin. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna put spells. <laughs> Evil toxins. Evil toxin. Let's see, where do I put the spells? Hmm. I wonder if my spider will come off. Nope, he's good on there. Spells. Spells. Evil toxin secrets. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna put it evil toxins. I'm gonna have like a funny S over here. It's like when you have to just like take life less seriously and deal with what you have. Evil toxins. I'll put like volume. It's gotta be a volume, right? Volume. Uh, four. There's just so many evil toxins. And then while I was doing that, this other snake popped off. Well, while I was thinking about what to do, this other snake popped off because it was too rubbery. Like I said, it doesn't like the glue very much. So, I'm doing my stash. I could do some little spiders. That would be funny. I don't have any little spiders on my other ones. 
Do do do. Wonder if that will stay. Probably should because they're plastic. This is where the Mod Podge comes in handy too because it's kind of helps solidify everything. We will do like two. We'll see. These have really tiny feet. See if they actually stay. It'd be really fun if they do. Boop, 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 boop. Can have like another guy down here. Clone his little legs. four on here. Oh, I need another glue stick. Okay, we'll put, oh. Volume. Just random volume. that dry. Okay, now to solidify all this stuff to make sure it stays on there, I'm just going to take my Mod Podge and like weasel it around my things that I'm gluing on. Just to make sure we have a good seal. strings you want from the glue. Let's cover that spider so we can put some paint on him too. I'll glue his legs on best. Get rid of that glue string. Come on, get off. Bond, 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 and blow it dry. And I decided to do one more spider up here because this corner is a little sad and lonely. So get his little feet wet. Come on up there. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to do this in black again. I squirted this on my table. And then we're going to paint all of this in black. This is when you can really see like the texture of the Mod Podge coming through to give it that worn leathery look. Spider. Oh, he looks so good when he's all painted. Get 
the little spider. Almost done. I'm telling you, this is so fast and fun. Just paint over that. And then we let this dry, and there's only one more thing we have to do, which is kind of my favorite part. So everything is painted over. It's looking all leathery because of that Mod Podge layer under there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we actually have two steps. I forgot we haven't painted the pages yet. So you can do gold, you can do, you know, you can do whatever you want. I think I'm gonna make these red. Cause, I don't know, cause I feel like it. Maybe mix it in with the black so it's like a, not quite so bright. Boop. Hands are all wet. In a rush, I have to go pick up my son from his friend's house. But I really love this project and I wanted to get it done. Oh, Rosie! I know honey buns, but my glue gun's plugged in. Rosie wants to come and say hi. I know, but it's dangerous right now. I know. Honey girl, I know, Baba, but it's not safe. I know, it's not safe right now. It's going to get burned. can come up later. It's also good to Mod Podge the... The binding because it's so much easier to paint when you don't coat those with Mod Podge and you try to paint it's kind of a disaster not a disaster it's just the pages will separate on you and then like your brush will slip inside and it's kind of tricky like it's doing down there right now so we have red 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 and a big hair no honey buns I'm so sorry Rosie is my second little kitty girl, and she is so cute. She was born with, uh, or she wasn't born with an injury, right after she was, well, right shortly after she was, shortly before, sorry, I can't paint and talk. We rescued her. Oh, and I have a cute video. If you want to see her story, I actually have it all on YouTube. Um, and this is just the black, get the edges with the black. She had, was really, really badly injured, and so she's kind of our handicap kitty. <laughs> we call her with so much love, and so she can't jump up very high at all. She can jump maybe about 18 inches or maybe two feet at the most, you know, whereas a normal cat would, or a cat who hasn't been injured can jump, you know, geez, some cats can jump like six feet up, and she can't jump very high at all so she relies on us to pick her up a lot and she asks <laughs> very often to be picked up so she can come and see the world she's so cute i know so right now she was asking very nicely if she could come and say hello why don't we take a minute you want here i'm gonna take the camera and have it fall <laughs> and hopefully not break rosie that scared you. Come say hi. Come here, pretty girl. Are you mewing? Come here. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you gonna come say hi? So there's Rosie. I see you. Oh, you're so ferocious. Oh, you good girl. You coming to say hi? I'm sorry you can't come up to the table, it's too dangerous. And I got red paint all over my camera. <laughs> it fell right into my paint. Bye pretty girl. So that's Rosie. All right, so now that it's all dry, the only thing left to do is get out your shimmery, shiny paint. So good suggestions are like gold. I've used, oh this is another gold, but they look completely different from each other and today I'm going to use uh, silver because I haven't done any in this so I kind of want that way I have ooh, kind of one in all different colors so I'm just gonna take 
my finger and it's not very brilliant so you can mess around with different brands of paint there's no hard and fast rules but I kind of take my finger and just um, skim it over all anything that's kind of sticking up or in relief which is like the letters and the sneaky poo and that way you can read it better if you get any on just like rub it in it's not the end of the world and you can also touch it like on our tacks that we had if you remember our first step Spidey. Oh my god, I like love, love doing these stupid books. I do. I love it. I think they look so cool. Sure, that book wasn't even good, anyways. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, ba ba ba. to focus on my big fat fingers so this is hard but the most of the sheen should go to the parts that are sticking up and we can do the side two oh oh no my spider fell off no so I would Mod Podge that on again. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I did this side, that's why. Or maybe I did. Um, so we can go and re-adhere that. I actually just turned my glue gun off, so it might still be hot. Yes, it is. Try it again. I don't think I painted over these. Got our volume four here. Spidey. Got our binding. Silver on this guy. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do like a little red, a little red butt, like a black willow. Uh, that uh, widow, sorry. I had one in my house just last week, as a matter of fact. Here we go. I'm putting my, oh yeah. Just touch your little bums. Oh, look at that. Yes. Now we're talking. And anywhere where else you want to add some silver, just, you know, put a little bit on your finger and you can spread it around there. Yeah, and you're done. That's really all there is to do. It's so easy. It's so cheap. And it comes out so, so well. So you can go more in with that silver. If you put too much off, you can just grab like a baby wipe and wipe some of it away. There's no rules about this stuff. It's just whatever is fun. 
but this is like my easiest and funnest tutorial if you like other Halloween projects you can check out my snake wreath which I did last year which is so fun that's on YouTube also um, yes if you make one let me know join my Facebook group just um, search awesome art school and come join in the fun we got all sorts of people doing all sorts of classes in there and sharing their work it's a really nice place to hang out so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I want to see your evil books show me